Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you the 16th stop on our adventure of visiting all 198 Oregon State Parks. This is Tomalo State Park, just northwest of Bend, Oregon. If you're interested in following the family journey of visiting all the state parks, I'll link the complete playlist in the description box below. Welcome back to Investigating the Northwest. This channel is dedicated to exploring the beautiful, mysterious, haunted, and historical of the Pacific Northwest. And this was our final camping experience of 2022. The weather's now getting cooler and the number of park videos will be decreasing until the spring. But don't worry, there's still a lot of winter content planned. For our final camping trip of 2022, we chose Tumalo State Park. We'd heard great things about the campground. It's incredibly popular, so you have to make reservations months in advance. However, there's a great day use area if you'd like to bring a picnic lunch, play in the water, or even bring your flotation devices for a relaxing drift down the Deschutes River. On our first day, we sat and relaxed by the river itself. The kids played and we watched other families having a great time as well. There are plenty of trees that offer lots of shade on warm days. Unfortunately, when we were there, the Cedar Creek forest fire had surged that weekend and the smoke was incredibly thick. When we woke up in the morning, there was a thin layer of ash over everything in the campground. However, we had a wonderful camping experience and would definitely be back. This park is located about six miles north of Bend, Oregon, along the Deschutes River. It's a quick drive from Bend if you want to spend a relaxing day by the water. So how would I rate my experience there? Well, the beauty is a B. It is lovely, but it's not stunning. We've been to so many great parks this summer that the, the beauty bar is set really high, but Tumalo is still quite lovely. It's a great place to relax and see the nature around you. The park is definitely kid-friendly. The day-use area is a great place to picnic and play in the water. We saw many people floating down the river that day. There's even a kid's play area in the campground itself. So when you're setting up your tent or you have some downtime, the kids can go to the, the play area and run around and have fun. There were plenty of kids riding bikes around the park and the campground as well. If you're just using the day use area, there is a $5 parking fee. However, if you pay $30 for an annual pass, all you have to do is hang that up on your rear view mirror and you're all set. Facilities were definitely an A. There were functional bathrooms, plenty of parking, lots of riverside places to relax and access the water, picnic tables, play areas for the kids. Definitely a great place to bring a picnic lunch maybe host a birthday party or a celebration there, and have a great day with your friends and family. Thank you so much for joining me to hear about our time at Tumalo State Park. If you're interested in learning about the mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, of exploring fascinating locations and discovering local legends, please do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive an email whenever a new video is released. Thank you.